Hey everybody, my name is Caroline. In this video, I am featuring Bolt IoT. It's a platform for makers such as ourselves with the Google Home. Now, in a previous video, I set up Bolt IoT with my Amazon Echo devices. I will link to that below if you're interested in that. In this video, we are concentrating on Bolt IoT and the Google Home. Let me show you what you're gonna be able to do by the end of this tutorial. Hey Google, turn on Bolt. Sounds good. And this LED comes on. Now to turn it off, we'll say, Hey Google, turn off Bolt. Turning off. And it goes off. And that is what we will be able to accomplish by the end of this tutorial. Let's get started. And we're back. I am now at the cloud.boltiot.com website and it's asking me to sign in or create an account. And now it says get started and I'm going to add a new device. I'm gonna hit add, uh, download the mobile app and register my device. All right, Bolt IoT setup, hit install. I'm gonna hit open. Okay, and it says no device is configured, add a device. All right, power on the Bolt. And we'll see it's the blue light is starting to flash. The blue LED will blink slowly when I click ready. The phone will now connect to the device when I click ready. I'm gonna say allow. To proceed further, please switch off mobile data. I'm gonna hit settings and I need to mobile data. I'm gonna turn it off, turn off. Okay, go back. Now I'm gonna go back to my Bolt IoT. And now my Wi-Fi connection is this device. Secured, fetching information, uh, configuring the device, setting up my Bolt IoT device. All right, I'm gonna hit continue and I am going to select my Wi-Fi network and I'm connecting it to my Wi-Fi network now. Oh, okay, and then now it works. Okay, my setup is complete. And I'm going to hit done. And now it's connected. All right, so I've successfully connected my Bolt IoT to my internet connection. Now we have set up our Bolt IoT device on our network here and it is going through the cloud.boltiot dot com network and I can see my Bolt IoT device is online right now. I've connected the LED that came with the kit, um, the ground to ground and the and the positive to the pin six or the closest pin to it. We are following a tutorial here from hackster.io, five minutes, four steps, and we're gonna turn on this light with our Google Home device. Now, this is your reminder, please put your Google Home device on mute as I will be using the wake word frequently in this video. I can trigger my LED on and off with my API. So if we're going through this tutorial, the command to turn on the light is this one. You replace the API key with your own API key. Let me show you where to find that right now. So going to your Bolt Cloud, you see your device. You will need your device number right here. So you're gonna hit copy for that. And you are gonna need your API key. API is on the left column. You want to make sure it is enabled. And then you want to copy to clipboard. And then you want to use this link right here, but you replace your API key with your with your API key and your device name with your Bolt name. So I've already done that here, so I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna hit refresh and that turns on my LED. Now to turn it off, I want to set the state from high to low. That's the only difference. Everything else is exactly the same. I'm gonna hit my Bolt IoT, I'm gonna hit state equals low and then run that command. And sure enough, my light turns right off. So if I want to turn on my LED, I will hit the high state. And if I want to turn off, I will hit state equals low. Back. Now, how do we get that with the Google Home? And how, now, how do we trigger that on and off API key with Google Home? The next step is we're going to go into IFTTT. Now, I have talked about IFTTT on my channel previously. It is short for if this and then that. And we're going to go right into IFTTT.com. And I'm already logged in. If you do not already have an account, all you have to do is create an account. It is free for what I will show you today. And I am going to look at my applets activity search. So what I want to do is I want to go into my applets and I want to create a new applet. If this, then that. This is if I say something to my Google Home. 
I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to say Google, and they actually use Assistant. And then I'm going to choose my trigger. I'm going to say a simple phrase, hey Google, and I want to say uh, turn on Bolt. And then you can also have other ways of saying things, like uh, trigger Bolt, for example. And what do I want the Assistant to say in response? I want to respond, uh, sounds good. And then I'm going to create that trigger. Now I'm going to select that. And so when I say that phrase, what's actually going to happen? Now I'm going to go into webhook and I'm going to make a web request. And what web request am I going to make? I'm going to turn on my light and that is this API URL that I'm, where my state is set to high. And I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to paste that entire URL. Then I'm going to go method. I'm going to select get and then content type, I'm, so, I'm going to select application forward slash JSON, and then I'm going to hit create action. If I say turn on Bolt, then I'm going to make a web request, I'm going to hit finish, and let's try it out and see if it works. Hey Google, turn on Bolt. Sounds good. And there it is, it worked. Okay, now the LED is on. How do I turn it off? I need to make another applet. Going back to my applets, uh, same process, hit new applet. If this, let's go back to Google. I'm going to say Google Assistant again. Simple phrase, turn off Bolt or trigger off Bolt, I guess. And then what do I want it to say? It says turning off. And I'm going to hit create trigger. That, I'm going to choose webhook again. And what URL am I going to use? I'm going to make a web request. The URL I'm going to use is the one that I use where I set the state to low. Copy. And I'm going to paste that URL right in here. Method is get once again. Content type is application JSON. And I'm going to hit create action. And then it created it off. Turn off bolt. I'm going to hit finish. And now let's try it out. Hey Google. Turn off Bolt. Turning off. And there it goes. It's turned off the Bolt. And that is the project. We can turn on and off the LED attached to our Bolt IoT platform uh, with the Google Home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.